This is a song about a referee, a little boy who grows up to be a referee. Nice, isn't it? Someday when I grow up, I'd like to find a way to be out on that field every Saturday or Sunday if you want to get in the NFL. Someday when I'm older, I'd like so much to be. I'd like to be that guy they call the referee. So we start off, and I played football once when I was in second grade, but not like this, because in August, especially in Evansville, man, the grass is just brown. You know what I mean? It's dead and brown, and you can smell it and feel it. And we're doing these drills, and we got to do these leg lifts. We lay on the ground, lift your legs up, spread them apart, beat on your stomach, and I'm all but close to tears. I'm dying. We got done. My mom picked me up, and she said, what do you think? I said, I loved it. I loved it. And I did. There was something about the idea of being able to go out, put on warrior gear, and express my emotions that I never got to do. All the frustration that I had, my parents splitting up and moving, all this instability, all of a sudden, and I was a real nice kid, I was real quiet and everything, I could knock the crap out of somebody and help them back up and go do it again. That was a cool thing. What happened after that was the big thing. I hadn't been real close to my dad, and I didn't have a lot of fatherly type influences growing up to that point. And Tom Simpson came up to me afterwards, and he said something to me that I had never heard before and never felt before, but I always wanted didn't know that I wanted. And if you ever talk to a little kid, if you're a coach, one of the ways you get a hold of them is you grab the top of their head and you bend it back. So they're looking at you. And so Tom Simpson grabbed the back of my head and bent it back. And I'm looking at him. And he's looking at me, but he's not looking at me. He's looking through me, into me. You ever had someone look at you like that? Like, not just look at you, but I mean look into your soul, into here. He was doing that to me. And he looked down at me, he said, Neil, I'm proud of you, son. I hadn't heard that before. And that felt really good. Really good. People ask me why I spend so much time. Why is this refereeing so important to you? Why is this such a big deal? It's because every time I go out there at a national championship game, that's that little kid. Same deal. 